Okay, we have a lid with a gradient. Very nice. So now what we need to do is we need to try and create this lip right here because the lantern lid doesn't just come straight down like a, a roof. It comes down and bends kind of back under and vertical. So the trick here is to try and utilize our existing paths. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to our lid selection and we're going to duplicate it. We've duplicated these before. All we have to do is click on that and drag that down to the new path icon. And then I'll double click on the name and we'll come over here and we'll call this lid selection one lip. And we see that it's loaded here. And now, rather than me clicking with my pen tool and creating this shape again, got a straight point up there. Rather than creating this whole shape again, I'm going to utilize, like we have done in the past, my existing path, which is this here. So I'm going to utilize this path. And instead of using my pen tool to try to keep, create this nice smooth arc here, I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to click on my primitives. And I want to make sure that it says path, not pixels or shape, because we're drawing paths right now. And I'm just going to click and drag in here. Kind of a shape similar to what we have. And I'm using my space bar. Remember, we can use our space bar to move our shapes around before we let go of them. So I'm just going to kind of position that right where I want it, and then I'm going to let go. Now the trick here is the trick here is to make our main path or this this lid. We want to go up here and make it, um, we could make it combined shapes. And then our ellipse that we drew, we want to make it, we want to subtract from shape, front shape. So we'll say subtract front shape. So now this front shape or this ellipse is going to mask out kind of parts of this that we don't want. So I'm just going to um, click on my pen tool, add a point, and just click and drag it so that my ellipse is covering all of that upper part that we don't want. Because all we're wanting is this little lip down here. Okay. And if I come down here and command click on the thumbnail, I can see I was successful, didn't have to draw any pen pin tool paths. So there's my lip. So we have this kind of this ellipse start out as an ellipse and then we deformed it to encompass all these little points in here because we're subtracting this ellipse from our main shape. And there's also a button up here that once we have it drawn out and we like the, the results of it, we can come up here and say merge those shape components. So we're going to merge that ellipse that's subtracting from our lantern lid one. So when I click on merge, now I have a nice clean path and I didn't even have to touch the pen tool. So very cool. Try to get in touch with some of these little primitive tools and make it not so much work. Okay. All right, we have our lid selection number one lip. And now what are we going to do? We're going to create a new layer. So we'll come over here. And I like to click on option new layer. And that allows me to name it. So I'm going to call this lip. Uh, we'll say this, we'll call this uh, lid one lip. And just like our lid that we did here, 
we are going to create a gradient. So I'm going to say G for gradient. And you'll see the gradient comes up here. We have already have it made and we're, we're hopefully we're going to be able to use the same gradient. We'll see. And I'm just going to click and drag. Ooh, filled the whole sheet, didn't we? We didn't make a selection, but that's okay because we're just we're going to use this path and clip it. So the only thing that's going to show up is what's inside this path. So we're going to click on our layer, and like we did our lip one, we're going to come up here and go layer, vector mask, the current path, and there you go. And if we look over here in our layers, we're filling the whole file or image size, but by using this vector mask, it's containing it right here in our the shape of our path. And I'll get my A tool and I'll just command click. So there's our marching ants, command D and there's our lip. And you could adjust this mask or this gradient if you want to. So we could say Command T and we could drag that gradient over. We just want to do the gradient, not the vector. So we're just dragging that gradient over, making it a little darker pulling some of that darker back over and kind of changing those highlights slightly. We'll say return, come back here and lock our vector and our gradient back up. And there's our lip. This lip looks a little bright, so what we could do is come down here we will create a curves layer and just darken that lip up ever so slightly just to catch it so that lights as that bends down and goes vertical our lights going to fall off a little bit there so that looks like that, that looks pretty good so this is kind of the concept that I would like for you to use on the entire lantern Think about vector masks, your paths, and utilizing existing paths uh, to generate new paths, new selections, and stuff like that. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks.